Hi, everybody. Meteorologist Joe Chaffee here. Meteorologistjoechaffee.com, weatherlongisland.com, ssstormchasing.com. And there won't be much storm chasing uh, this afternoon into this evening uh, because uh, we not only have these record high temperatures, but we have a pretty bone dry satellite and radar that's probably going to stay the case until uh, later on tonight. But just wanted to show you as we uh, uh, are going into the one o'clock hour, we already have temperatures in the low to mid 90s and there'll be more records broken across uh, central and southern New Jersey and through most of eastern Pennsylvania. In fact, when we uh, put on a look at the temperatures a little further to the west and you can see uh, we're looking at a large area going uh, all the way back uh, into central PA uh, with the readings up around 90. Uh, you start to see some lower readings as you go a little bit further north into Pennsylvania, uh, even some uh, upper 70s, but that's got to be, that is elevation uh, in uh, Monroe uh, County. Uh, 88 in Scranton, that's uh, pretty hot. Uh, we do have uh, some cooler temperatures, though, uh, just north of New York, of uh, northern New Jersey. If, if you look at the way the wind barbs are here, uh, these are all mostly southwest winds. They're light. The few winds uh, a little southeast of here in Somerset County and northwest wind up in Sussex County. But predominantly from New York City, uh, north and east through the Hudson Valley and through much of Connecticut, we have a south-southeast wind. Now, that uh, south-southeast wind has le much less impact as you go further inland. Right along the coast, temperatures in the low 80s, on Long Island, low 80s, and even middle to upper 70s across the east end. So uh, getting a nice break uh, there. And what we have is a very weak uh, warm front that has set up, and it's probably right about here, just like this. I'm just going to draw it in. It probably cuts right across New York City somewhere and and is heads out into the ocean. The thing is that there's usually with these warm fronts, you have at least some shower activity. There's nothing going on. There's just some clouds. And this is all going to, this, this warm front's going to lift up northeast. So it's possible that some of these areas in the Hudson Valley could see some temperature jumps late in the afternoon. Uh, the reason why we are not bullish uh, with regards to thunderstorms is if you look at the radar, there's nothing going on uh, all the way back through Pennsylvania and western New York this afternoon. So I think it's going to be after midnight that we'll get into some showers. Uh, and then after that, we can finally say goodbye to this heat and have a cooler, drier day tomorrow with lower humidity. Now, I want to take a look at the tropics. And we've got a uh, weather system. Whoops. Oh, it's refreshing. <laughs> I wanted to get a fresh picture here. So we have this system that has moved now into the southeastern Gulf of Mexico. We have this one that's north of Puerto Rico and Hispaniola. And we have this one uh, that is uh, out in the central Atlantic, still moving to the west. And we'll go close up on the Gulf of Mexico system. You can see there's a complete low-level circulation here that has now moved away from any thunderstorm activity that's out to the east of it. And conditions are not favorable for development here because we have some strong wind shear aloft of 20 to 30 knots. So that's probably going to keep this uh, from developing. The low-level swirl may um, hold together. So we'll see about that as it moves a little bit deeper into the Gulf of Mexico, uh, whether conditions become a little more favorable. But, you know, you can see these uh, clouds in the central Gulf all shooting up from uh, south to north. So uh, I, that would kind of indicate to me that the uh, uh, moderate to high shear that exists in the Gulf of Mexico will continue. Now, with regards to the system here uh, down uh, in uh, the central Atlantic, I'll just let's get a, a, a close-up shot here and uh, a still shot uh, right in here. Looks like to me that there's some sort of circul weak. There is a, definitely a weak circulation that's developing or has been there since yesterday. One of the things that's kind of intrigued me with this is you know I've been I've been saying that that if the circulation here the longer it stays weak the further west it's going to get uh, if it starts to develop then you're going to start to see that northward turn which remarkably uh, the weather models and I'll switch over to uh, the GFS um, the weather models all of them have been saying for seven days now uh, when this thing first showed up out in the 240 hour plus range that. 
this thing was going to recurve at 60 and it's still recurving at 60 and it's almost identical run to run it is amazing to me that it that is the case now i think the only way that that does not happen is that if this system stays relatively weak and takes much longer to develop a good solid core circulation uh, because that'll mean that it'll continue to respond to the low level lower level winds in the atmosphere and not the higher level winds and uh, the the uh, easterlies the trades will, will probably want to push that circulation further to the west but based on um, the gfs model that northwest turn is, is already starting now so we'll know by this time tomorrow whether that is the case or not and by the way it doesn't do anything with the other two systems at all uh, the model just continues to shoot out lows from the african coast and move them westward who knows what's going to happen down the road uh so I, i'm not really all that worked up about it so real quick the next chance for uh any shower or thunderstorm activity is going to be uh, overnight i don't know how much of this is going to really mean anything um we've got a, the, this front coming through um let's just back it up there we go uh, this is the gfs which has some showers which tend to weaken as they get to the coast Let's look at the uh, NAM model and uh, see what this has. And they are just absolutely, you know, there they go. Uh, we're talking this evening now. Uh, at well after this is at uh, 11 o'clock tonight, they're still pretty far to the west. And, you know, some develop tomorrow morning between 7 and 8 a.m. And then they're gone by 10 or 11 a.m. along the coast. So we're improving weather conditions as we go through the day. And then a couple of days of reasonable humidity and some sunshine and temperatures a little closer to where they're supposed to be for this time of year. So enjoy the rest of your day and the rest of your weekend. And uh, don't forget uh, meteorologist joechaffee.com, weatherlongisland.com, and SNS, uh, ssstormchasing.com.